Hi, in this video, you will learn how to use the icon site Billy Pilot in automatic mode to renovate a defective payment. For this workflow, we need icon site with licenses for milling and dual connection, a design surface and an existing surface, and a calibrated milling machine. You may want to see the video How to Calibrate a Milling Machine. Here we show the milling pilot within the cotton fill application, but you could also use the milling pilot inside the roading application. In that case, you use a road model as design surface, and of course, you then need a roading license. Differential milling in the cotton fill application of Icon Side requires two surfaces the design surface and the existing surface. In the milling pilot, we continuously calculate the difference between these two surfaces and display the results on the map. For that reason, we don't need the elevation of the GNSS receiver, but only the northing and easting coordinates of the current position. The design surface is the target surface. We can survey the existing surface using a total station or scanner and import both datasets via a USB stick or Conex. We start from the home menu and tap on Devices. We press on the green plus sign to create a new profile. On the right hand side, we see two options. Positioning Devices and Auxiliary Devices. First, we connect to the DNSS antenna mounted on the milling machine. We select Positioning Device ICT60 in this case, and press on OK. Note that we can use a total station as positioning device. For further information about the connection process to a GNSS antenna, please watch the video How to Create a GNSS Rover Profile. Once the connection is established, we press on the green plus sign again. Then we select Auxiliary Devices, CAN Bus, and press OK. Now the design and existing surfaces are available, connections to all devices are established, so we are ready to use Milling Pilot. From the home menu, we tap on Cotton Fill. On the map, we see the design and existing surfaces. We open the toolbox and select first a reference line. For this, we select a line parallel with the milling area. This helps to drive straight along the defined area and monitor the chainage value in the info panel. We open the toolbox again and now select Differential Milling. In case the tool is grayed out, it might be that you have not yet configured the milling machine. In the new screen, we first define the design and the existing surfaces. We tap on the design surface and from the list select the file for the new layer, Design Surface, which will be the milling target layer. Then we tap on Existing Surface and from the list select Existing Surface, which represents pavement to be removed. Optionally, you can apply a vertical offset to the surfaces. We skip that for now. The station interval is by default set to 2 meters. This value sets the distance between the next cut and cross slope values shown on the screen. In a traditional workflow, the operator needs to get these values from markings along the road and manually adjust the milling depth. With Milling Pilot, these values on the screen are only advisory. We keep the default station interval. We tap on OK to start milling the surface. We split the screen and rotate the map view to have an overview of the area in 3D. The milling pilot needs to know the machine's heading. This is calculated when the machine has moved roughly half a meter in the milling direction. The machine icon on the map and the station values will now show correct data. In the left screen, which shows the milling mode, we see the calculated cut value for the current position and the calculated cut values for the next two positions. 
Please note that these values are only advisory and do not change as the machine moves forward. You can see the actual cut values under the drum in real time if you configure the information part to show that. We can also see the cross slope value of the design surface at the current and the next two positions. As we are using automated differential milling, the machine is adjusting the cutting depth. To check the result, we only need to measure the relative thickness between the new and the old layer using a tape. To exit the milling pilot, we recall the differential milling from the toolbox, press on the default button from the bottom bar and then OK. Here are some further useful tips. If you leave the surface, you will get a warning message above the information bar. Different colors of the values shown in the milling mode view visualize other errors. For more details, please check out the Leica icon site How to Guide Chapter 15. That's it. You have learned how to set up the milling pilot with the required surfaces and station interval. You also learned how to read the values for cut and cross slope and how to verify the milled surface for correct height. Thanks for watching.